So for task number five, uh, we're told to indirectly control the double acting cylinder in task four. So it's the same pneumatic circuit as task four. Um, using two push buttons and relays. So it's to control the same circuit, but indirectly. Indirectly means that we're using relays rather than just switches directly to the circuit. So as you notice down here, the pneumatic circuit stays the same, so I've kept it the same. The electrical circuit is slightly different, okay? You'll still see two push button switches, um, but it will be a little bit different in how we connect up the other components. So again, I can go ahead and add 24 volts and zero volts as normal. I can add my two push button switches here and here. And then what I need to add this time is a relay. So I'm going to go and add in a relay in this line here. And I'm going to label that relay K1. On the right hand side, the next uh, the next rail here, we're going to have uh, K1, which is the make switch part of the relay. I'm going to connect that up. Again, labeling to make sure that we can, or the two parts of the relay communicate. And I'm going to add in a solenoid valve. This is the very important part down here. This is what controls the valve over here. Again, this must be labeled the same as whatever label you have over here. I'm going to label it Y1. <laughs> now you'll notice when I press play, again, we have pressure in the pneumatic side, but nothing's happening. If I press S1 on its own, nothing happens. If I press S2 on its own, nothing happens. But if I press S1, and S2 together, uh, you'll notice that current flows down through S1 and S2, hits K1, which is the relay, closes the other side of the relay, the make switch over here, allowing current to flow down through this rail, hitting Y1, which is the solenoid, which is controlling this side of the valve solenoid in the pneumatic, pushing it to the side, allowing air to flow up through and extend the double acting cylinder. When I release one of the push button switches, either one, you will notice that uh, the spring pushes back the double the, the solenoid, allowing air to flow up and back in the opposite direction, retracting the double acting cylinder. This is how this circuit works. Um, it's indirectly controlling the same circuit. Indirectly means we're using relays, K1 here in this instance. <laughs> 